This is Alan Bush with the Daily Financial Forecast for Tuesday, July 7th. In the stock index futures, we are seeing prices lower again today. Of course, the pressure we saw yesterday was due to the Greek no vote as far as austerity measures uh, in Greece were uh, being proposed by the IMF. So more of the same, it looks like the Im impasse continues between Greece and its Eurozone creditors taking stock index futures under, uh, under some pressure again today. Now talks are scheduled again, and apparently there has been no new progress. So that is the dominant influence, not just in the stock index futures, but elsewhere. All of the markets are being very much uh, undermined uh, by what's going on in uh, the Eurozone. Longer term, we feel that once there is a resolution to this situation in the Eurozone, or at least the problem is put back on the back burner. Stock index futures will again resume the uptrend. It does not look like today will be the day for an, ag an agreement. So look for more of the same, a lot of political uncertainty, uh, maybe a little more pressure in the indices, but do not lose heart. This is not the beginning of any new bear market for stock index futures. Now, moving over to the currencies, seeing the dollar index higher again, the European currencies lower, especially the Euro currency. Of course, all of this due to what's going on in, in uh, the Eurozone with Greece and the uh, its IMF creditors. We even are seeing the British pound lower, even though we did see some better economic numbers out of the UK. Commodity prices lower for the same reason. Uh, the IMF Greek situation, but also the Chinese stock market has been under quite a bit of pressure recently. So that adversely affecting commodity prices, which in turn is hurting the commodity currencies, the Canadian dollar and the Australian dollar. In fact, we're very much near blow off levels. I think maybe a few more days of, of more of the same. Uh, so we are looking for a spot, hopefully to uh, come in on the long side in one form or another in the Canadian. I don't think today is the day we have to see some type of progress or some type of resolution between Greece and the IMF. So hold off on any new longs in the commodity currencies at least for a while yet. Now moving over to the interest rate markets. Once again, the Greek IMF situation, the, the main influence taking the long end of the curve higher. So the 30 year bonds gaining. The front end somewhat supported by the growing feeling that the Fed will not be able to raise interest rates this year. According to the financial futures markets, there's only a 44% chance that the Fed will raise rates at the December meeting. This is down from 47% yesterday. So the problems we are seeing globally in, uh, in the Eurozone, the weaker Chinese stock market, are reasons for the Fed not to raise rates this year. Longer term, we feel that once there is a resolution to what's going on in, in, uh, in Greece and the Eurozone overall, that the strength we are seeing in, at the long end of the curve will not follow through. And within, I think, a couple of months, we'll see a move to new lows for the move in the uh, bond market. Oh, don't forget, it was just about a week and a half ago that the 30-year bonds made some new lows for the move. And it was now the flight to quality strength that helped at the long end. Uh, so look for more of the same, a lot of political uncertainty, a lot of, uh, uh, I would say, some flight to quality buying coming in near term. Once the Greek situation is resolved, all the trends that we're seeing over the last week or so will be reversed in the financial markets. So good trading, everyone. And once again, remember, these are my opinions alone and are not the opinions of ADMIS or Archer Daniels Midland.